Afternoon guys, Russ here from Willie's Firewood. Uh, we've got an order for four cord of small split 16 inch wood. So we're gonna change the wedges around on our splitter and we haven't shown you guys how we do that yet. So I'm gonna spin you around and we'll give you a little tutorial on how we go from the four way to the six way. And then tomorrow when we're running this, we'll give you a uh, shot of this wedge and let you see how it speeds up our small split production. Um, this wedge is what we use for our bundled wood as well. So let's spin around and see what we got. So on the all wood splitter, we've got a bolt down here on the back. It's actually a nut um, with a captive nut on the bottom for the hydraulic cylinder that adjusts it up and down. And then we have three nuts that are welded on top. And the wedge, as you'll see in just a second, just slides on. Um, I'll bring you a little closer so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. So here's the top view. We've got three nuts that hold the plate on that keeps the wedge from coming too far up. And then we've got a captive nut here. Uh, if I spin you down underneath, you can see there's a, a captive nut under here to hold that on and lock it on. Um, and then this wedge will just pick up off. So we'll get this moved around. And then the wedge is all off of there. Just slides on over the beam. The wedge is just a bolt-on style wedge. Uh, we got a hanger on front that we can put this on. So as you can see, there's a hanger on the front there right by the hitch for the wedge to go. And that just pins on with a hitch pin to keep it from falling off. There's a hole right at the top here. We'll put a hitch pin across there. And that holds the wedge on there so that it doesn't uh, flop around and bang around and come off going down the road. So now let's go put the six way on. So reverse process of our four way. We're gonna grab this and slip it on over the beam. Down over our hydraulic cylinder. And we'll take our nut Put our nut on for the captive. We'll tighten that in a minute. And then this is a plate that ties the splitting beam to the front. We'll stick that on top. We have three bolts. And I did put a little never seize on those. They were getting a little dry in there. But the three bolts will tighten down on. I don't snug these too overly tight. You want them tight, but you want to be able to get them back off too. Um, so just give them a good twist. Like that, tighten up our captive nut. And just like that, six-way wedge is all on. So the six-way wedge has a narrower opening from here to here. Uh, it's a three-inch opening. So what I'll I usually do is I set my bottom wings to this, which is about three inches to the bottom. Then I have three inches again. And then anything bigger that comes off the top after will re-split. Um, and we'll show you that. But I'll set this up and I'll run a couple of smaller pieces through here so you guys can see the six-way. Um, and we'll go from there.
So you heard the splitter really grunt and bog down. We ripped straight through probably a 12 inch knot on that one. Takes a lot more pressure splitting through these square wedges, um, just like a, a regular box wedge or something like that. So it does use a significant amount more pressure, um, but you know, in about a minute, we've got a couple wheelbarrows full of nice small split. I mean, this is probably the biggest piece that's in there and three by three so nice small split firewood um, for the high efficiency wood stoves so we've got an order for four cord worth of this that we're going to crank out tomorrow morning uh, we'll bring you guys along we'll run a bunch of this through and we'll go deliver and we'll get you on the other side but just wanted to show you guys how we change the four-way to a six-way wedge and what we do when we start getting into smaller split wood which this order is going to be so if you like it give a thumbs up like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow morning when we get this order going. Have a great night, guys.